Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. My name is Richard Evans and today I want to show you Virtual Input. Now Virtual Input is a free application that you could download at ndi.tv and it allows you to, instead of using your webcam on say like Skype or uh, Google Hangouts for example, you can use the NDI output of your TriCaster to send a high quality image to your viewers. So let's dive in and take a look. All right, to begin, let's start in the TriCaster TC1 software, which this is where you would go to switch between your different video sources, bring on some lower thirds, graphics, virtual sets, yada, yada, yada. Now, usually when you sign in to say like Google Hangouts, for example, it's going to want to use your embedded webcam off of whatever device you're running it on to send that to your uh, callers. Now, we can use NDI virtual input to send the output of anything broadcasting over NDI as that video source to whatever video conferencing application I want to use. So uh, for this example, we're going to send the output of my TriCaster. So I'm going to bring on a lower third here just to show you TriCaster output. Okay, now let's move over to my laptop here in my desk. Okay, so this is my laptop screen. And the first thing I need to show you is where to download the NDI virtual input application. So you'll go to ndi.tv, which is a landing page for all things NDI. Go to the top of the screen and click NDI tools. And then scroll down the page a little bit. Go to NDI tools 4.0, available now. Click on download. And then over here on the left, go ahead and click on download for Windows. This application is exclusive to Windows, just FYI. Okay, now from here, I'm going to need to launch my NDI tools by clicking on the start icon, navigating to my applications, select NDI4 tools, and select virtual input. Now, this application is running in the background here. So you'll go to the, your uh, start menu bar here at the bottom, and it's going to be show to hidden icons. Let's go ahead and expand that. And then you'll see I have NDI virtual input here if I hover over it. Uh, outlined in yellow. So if I right click on that, this is the same drop down that you would see on the TriCaster side, but this allows you to send any video feed that is broadcasting over NDI on your network to use as a webcam in your video conferencing applications. So I'm going to select the output of my TriCaster TC1 here and go to my audio settings. This is where I can go to either boost my audio signal uh, or completely mute it, which I will mute. Okay. And now let's go to my Google Hangouts. All right, so I'm going to talk to my boss here. So he's ready and he wants me to bring in my TPS report. Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, to initiate a call, you'll go to, uh, I can either start a new conversation or I will just click on Lenny's name here and start my video call. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is you're going to see my webcam coming off of my feed here. And we don't want to see that. Ah, but there's Lenny. Now, I want to change the output of my TriCaster uh, to be the feed that's going over to Lenny. So, we'll click on this settings icon here in the top right, and that'll bring up the different feeds that I can send out over my uh, Google Hangout. So, instead of using the USB camera, I'm going to click this drop down and select New Tech NDI Video, and I'll select New Tech NDI Audio. And now, check it out. Now I can see, Lenny can see me, but then at the bottom of the screen, I, he can see my video feed. And if I look over on his screen, you can see the output of my TriCaster and then also him in the bottom right as well. So as you can see, this is a great way to embed a professional video broadcast generated by your TriCaster into any video conferencing application like Google Hangouts, Skype, Facebook Messenger, Zoom, and a whole lot more. Now, if you like this tutorial but want a little bit more, make sure you go to newtech.com slash demo for a free personalized demonstration by yours truly. Also, be sure to follow us and tag us in your Instagram posts. And for more videos like this, please visit our YouTube page at youtube.com slash newtechinc. Until then, thank you for watching and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.